بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم میں اسلام علیکم پاکستان ویلکم بیک ٹو کارپوریٹ گورننس اینڈ وی ہیڈ مینی سیشنز آن دا رول آف گورنمنٹ واٹ آر ریگولیشنز ہاؤ دو ریگولیشنز شوڈ بی امپلیمنٹیڈ واٹ آر دی ڈفرینٹ ایشوز ریلیٹڈ ٹو گورنمنٹ واٹ از دا ریلیشن شپ بٹوین گورنمنٹ اینڈ دا کارپوریٹ سیکٹر اینڈ دی ادر اسٹیک ہولڈرز ہاؤ دا گورنمنٹ شوڈ بی پرو ایکٹیو ایمپتھیٹک کمپیشنیٹ ایکویٹیبل ٹرانسپیرنٹ اکاؤنٹیبل اینڈ میرٹ بیسڈ all of those things were discussed in great detail now we're going on to the next stakeholder a very important stakeholder and that is the role of media now media as we all know is known as the fourth estate so we have uh, the the parliament we have the executive we have the judiciary as the three classical pillars of society and then the fourth one which is media especially in the 20th century and now in the 21st century we have print electronic and social media so all of them have their own impact and again it can be used positively or negatively depending upon the circumstances and depending upon the various issues that come under consideration uh, ladies and gentlemen uh, when we are talking about media then in any democratic system it has a very powerful and also important role different roles plays the role of a friend the role of a philosopher the role of a guide the role of a critic Now, all of these different roles have to be played by media depending upon the circumstances. Many a times we learn from media. Many a times we uh, become aware through media. Many a times people get or institutions get exposed due to media. Just look at how in the past two years, media has been uh, a major proponent of controlling COVID, of ensuring that COVID does not spin out of control, that people understand the importance of quarantine people understand the importance of social distancing people understand the importance of protecting themselves of masks of sanitizers people understand that they should not unnecessarily travel people understand the importance of vaccination of getting boosters and now the the pandemic of covid is dwindling and that has been the role of media it acted as a friend because when people could not go out of their homes they basically uh, were linked through the world uh, through through different media platforms uh, it acted as a philosopher because when people did not know what covid is its implications and its various connotations that is where media played its role it acted as a guide what should be done what should not be done how it should be done what are the controls required where things should not be imposed and then it also worked as a critic because then it criticized the government it criticized international agencies it criticized research organizations medical organizations that they were not doing enough so all of these things were played by the media and that led to a better response against covid a better environment uh, more synchronization and harmonization between the different stakeholders and again making everyone responsible so that is what uh, media done and we its manifestation has been seen uh, in the past two years during this covid pandemic uh, media's role is also of an external whistleblower we've talked about internal whistleblowers that employees are internal whistleblowers but how uh, do people realize that something has happened it's just like the example of enron or worldcom that the employees were the internal whistleblowers but then media exploded the whole issue and then it went so much across the globe that even though they were very powerful and very rich super rich organizations they could not control the fallout and therefore then they had to be vanquished uh, media is a caretaker of shareholders money so again uh, it is through the media uh, that uh, constraints restraints uh, and requisite impediments are created so that uh, the company does not spin out and waste uh, shareholder money uh, it is a defender of stakeholders interests because again Uh, just like i was mentioning earlier in the covid example that uh, everyone's position is clarified and how they should be responding to it and then uh, we see the emergence of uh, social media platforms and uh, the the role of media has exponentially grown has grown thousands fold and we see that now uh, every household poor medium or rich uh, educated or uneducated they are they are hinged onto social media and media revenue It does come from corporate sector organizations so again uh, these uh, media uh, different organizations or media platforms are owned 
uh, by different uh, corporations or corporate entities and they themselves have emerged as uh, the most uh, the the most rich institutions i mean we uh, we can look at uh, meta i mean facebook uh, the new name of facebook so see how it has grown we can look at google uh, see how it has grown so all of these uh, platforms have just grown uh, and skyrocketed uh, across the universe basically and are uh, trillion trillion uh, dollar organizations uh, we also see that media collects selects clarifies and repackages information now that is a little bit dangerous also because uh, what if it selects clarifies and repackages information uh, in its own vested interest so discerning but what is uh, real news and fake news is very important and uh, we we've, we've heard uh, basically uh, how uh, it has uh, been able to um, uproot governments even so uh, it 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 can be very lethal it can be uh, very effective and therefore its imposition has to be uh, done properly uh, without any vested interest or without supporting uh, any discrimination uh, or exploitation or manipulation a media acts as an information disseminator for all the stakeholders it includes increases the reputational cost because now or corporations have to invest in media because if you want to find out about a company or an individual uh, the easiest way is just to go on to social media and work on different platforms and find out and see uh, their websites and other things and then you can assess uh, what that particular organization is doing media can change the enforcement costs also and media can alter the size of penalty for bad governance so all of these things are uh, taking place together hand in hand and again there are positivities and negativities but you have to create a balance out of all of this so that the role of media Uh, can be commensurate with the economic growth of a country or with the different uh, corporate organizations which exist uh, within a company the value of company reflects the reputation of the company so again like i was mentioning earlier that uh, through media people tend to assess the company Reputa- reputation depicts cognitive and emotional behavior of investors so again the investors would be taking many decisions based upon the media input which is coming into them and managers are disciplined through reputation so again Uh, if there is uh, any issue uh, and it is put up onto media then it becomes public news and therefore uh, managers and executives have to be very careful in how uh, they are dealing with the various stakeholders especially their own employees with their clients and they do not create a scandal because otherwise that would have uh, a huge negative repercussion on the organization uh, ceos uh, change policies and employees behavior on the basis of image of the company so again uh, based upon the feedback and based upon the information which is coming in through the different medias uh, the ceos uh, are accordingly changing their company so that they can become more conducive and more uh, news positive rather than news averse and reputation plays a key role in creating value in overall society so that has been uh, mentioned earlier the reputation cost of not acting is affected by the media reporting so uh, again if you do something it has its own repercussions if you don't do something that also has its own repercussions the role of media in battle between public invested interest is very high so again uh, media is basically a voice for the public and therefore there can be uh, different uh, vested interests and battles taking place and consequences emerging out of it and the power of vested interest is because of rational apathy so we do not want to have uh, indifference basically clamoring in and media has the ability to reduce vested interests politicians care about their uh, reputation hence acknowledge the role of media so ladies and gentlemen what we see is that uh, media be it print uh, be it social or be it electronic has uh, a huge influence on corporate governance on national and global economies on governments and most importantly on the corporate sector thank you so much